Hello guys, my name is Christian Deku. I uh, am a paraglider pilot like you. I uh, uh, like to fly an Enzo and uh, I go to some competitions, a lot of them actually. And uh, every time I am at the competition, I really need to trim uh, my glider there as I'm there. Okay, so I cannot carry with me a very big and very heavy uh, rig or tool to. Uh, to measure my glider, so I designed this very light uh, line measuring tool which is 800 grams like this and if you remove this plastic is 700 grams so I mean precisely 700 grams uh, it is made uh, almost entirely out of aluminium except of uh, these rollers which are uh, hardened steel and uh, except uh, this guide which is also hardened steel so um, so this is uh, this will be a very reliable tool when you want to make some measurements on the run. I mean, especially when you are in the competition and uh, you need uh, some uh, uh, <laughs> you need some help uh, because uh, your glider doesn't uh, doesn't listen to you. Oh, okay, so. Uh, I mount this here and as you can see I, I put minimum force to drag this around and to make this going. This is the key for a precise line measuring. Another key for precise uh, line measuring is this angle here uh, which uh, which must be zero. The angle of the line with the aluminium plate and with the guide, okay, this must be zero. Otherwise, this angle will uh, introduce um, a force that uh, you, and it's a variable force, that will influence your uh, result when measuring. Another uh, thing that uh, I am very proud of uh, is uh, that here I have a perfectly 90 degree with uh, the mounting plate and between between the mounting plate, the aluminium mounting plate and this plastic projection plate. Okay, so minimum dragging force here, 90 degrees, zero degrees here, and a pulley which is very very low uh, I don't know it introduces a low dragging force I mean almost zero as you may uh, know you you put it here just uh, uh, over the edge and here you hang a five kilogram weight which is for pretensioning the lines an improvement from uh, the last year's uh, uh, increment of this uh, device is uh, that here I've got three holes for three uh, mounting points. Either you use two mounting points for the left and right uh, risers both together and uh, you don't need, uh, when you finish with the left uh, you don't need to go to switch with the right, but I prefer to use only one screw here in the center and whenever I finish with the left I go here and I change uh, it with the right so it doesn't it doesn't bother me at all so um, but anyway I have this possibility you for you to choose whatever you want okay so I've got this uh, this plastic that uh, it's not really necessary, I mean, it doesn't uh, influence uh, the, the measurement uh, at all. It mounts uh, very easy with uh, this uh, replacement of, uh, of the riser mounting uh, screws. But you guys requested it. So last year when I, uh, when I made uh, for the first time uh, this instrument, you requested that this aluminium plate uh, should be longer. I didn't want to make it heavier, the whole instrument, I didn't, I didn't want to make it heavier, so I added this plastic. 
either you want to use it or not, because uh, I don't think me, myself, I won't use this, okay? Because it's like 100 grams or like less, but anyway, I won't carry with, uh, this with me around to Brazil or Colombia and I don't know where, okay? So I will only use this. Look at it. <laughs> It's a CNC uh, machined and it's like uh, very beautiful, okay? A colleague of mine uh, said that I, he would buy one of these uh, just for uh, pleasure of uh, moving this part <laughs> into this guide, okay? Uh, but seriously, this is uh, my uh, dream trimmer for traveling. This is the Model 2. You find into the description the price, uh, how you can pay for this and uh, how we can deliver this to you. Thank you very much.